All right, guys, we waited a long time for this, but uh, it's finally been confirmed. It has finally been confirmed. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? All right, so this, this, this is going to be a quick video, okay? It won't be long by any means. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of news to end off the night. So our boy, Keldon Johnson, has officially given up his number we know that there were many a different uh rumors saying that yes chris paul will get the number three but now it is official and who made it official Keldon himself Keldon johnson posted this photograph on instagram with a zero um and i think he just put pray hands prayer hands under it uh this is not listed here uh but andrew lopez says Keldon johnson makes it official he will wear a number zero for the spurs this year chris paul will wear number three and I, I think you know i know a lot of people will say this isn't a big deal for Keldon at all to do this um because he's worn so many different numbers uh whether it be you know in austin or you know other leagues that he's played in but i have to say he really does look up to chris paul and he has he is known for his number three. i mean chris paul is known more than Keldon, but Keldon is known for his three he really wanted to hold on to it we even have that video we won't go over it here but we have that video we went over in which he basically told a fan oh yes i'll be wearing number three so i think that he was very confident that he will be wearing that number um but it is rumored that popovich is actually the one that nudged him and said hey uh, maybe you should give chris paul that number and i think that's the right move i mean that's it just is what it is in the nba that's usually how it goes right the veteran especially the more uh, uh popular pay player more impactful player more seasoned vet uh will get the number that they that they want right and i had a hard time believing that chris paul wouldn't get three especially since we all know that he didn't go to miami all because he potentially couldn't get the number three so it would have been weird for him to not go to Miami over that, um, but is willing to go to San Antonio and not at least get that perk of having his his own number. That would be a little strange. Um, and just to end things off, so we got we got confirmation from Kelton. He will be wearing number zero. Looks good on him. Um, just to end this off, this is another bit of news that I did not know of. We know that Kelton lost quite a bit of weight, but it's being rumored that it's 33 pounds? 33 pounds. Chris Paul has already been working out with some of the fellow his fellow teammates, and Kelton Johnson has lost over 33 pounds and is said to be jumping and running more explosively than ever. Even Victor Wamanyama has returned from a brief but much needed vacation and has been putting in two a day practice sessions at the Spurs new practice facility. So big deal there. Uh now this should it's it's all like on paper, right? On paper. This should allow Chris Paul, or not Chris Paul, I'm sorry, Keldon Johnson to be a, a, a more reliable defender, right? He, he should have more uh, uh, quickness, lateral quickness or whatnot. I, I'm just not 100% sold yet. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I, I want him to be successful. Uh, and I, I'll say this, I don't think all of the reasons why Keldon Johnson wasn't really fitting with the Spurs last season it has to do with the physicality. Yes, he had a terrible time keeping up with the, with with offensive players. Obviously, defense was terrible, but most importantly, in my opinion, it was the mindset in which he would get the ball, he would go directly to the rim without any care in the world to who's underneath who's underneath the rim who's defending who's open it was really bad and i i know that that was his role last season but it, it has to come it, it gets to a point where it's it's excessive and he wasn't looking for teammates at all at times it, it wasn't always like that it wasn't always like that but it will be in crucial situations in which maybe he has some success in the first half the the team would adjust and then he's just he just get killed in the second so I, I really hope that he can change his mindset a little bit and, and hopefully improve in that that regard this will definitely help um you know it, it's it's a weird thing with Kelton though it's a weird thing with Kelton because he does lose weight it seems like every single season and when those pounds are off he's not as much of a big body right he can't really enforce his will as much but he is slightly quicker um but then when he gains that weight as the season goes on it's like okay yeah he can enforce his will but now he doesn't have his quickness so hopefully he can find that little bit of balance there and figure that out um but hey i'm cheering for him i'm not gonna sit here and and say that i 
you know, I, I, I'm skeptical. Okay. I'm going to be skeptical and until, until I see something, you know, to get me excited, I'm going to be a little skeptical, but that is big news there. 33 pounds. You guys let me know what you think of that. Um, but this is some pretty big Keldon Johnson news, but anyways, I will get with you guys later, man. Uh, until next time. Bye.